And ladies and gentlemen, what we have is if two lines um, are being intersected, so we have two lines, L and M, are being intersected by transversal. So far, the only way for me to tell if they're parallel is if I tell you they're parallel or if I write in my little parallel symbols. Um, however, we can also determine they're parallel if we have two lines being intersected by transversal and they create consecutive interior angles that are supplementary, then we have parallel lines. Okay, So what does that mean, supplementary and consecutive interior angles? So remember, when we were talking about consecutive angles, consecutive uh, interior angles means they're interior angles and they're right next to each other. Right? So let's say this one is 30 and this one's 150 degrees. Now, are those supplementary? Do you guys remember what supplementary add up to, Josh? 180. 180. So do 30 and 150 add up to 180? Yeah. yeah. So therefore, since these are consecutive interior angles and they add up to 180, Therefore, I have now just proven that L and M have to be parallel. Okay?